I'm gonna be honest with you guys, if Colby Smulders wasn't in this movie, I probably wouldn't have gone and seen it. Yeah, apparently now Vince Vaughn needs a Canadian pop star to get me in the seats, but what can I say? Delivery Man. So Delivery Man is another Vince Vaughn movie in which he plays Vince Vaughn. That's not even an exaggeration, he is Vince Vaughn in this movie. But his character apparently donated a lot of sperm back in the 90s, and now all those kids are grown up, there's about 533 of them. I think I'm getting that number right. And over a hundred of them want to know who their biological father is. So now he gets this packet of all the names, and he picks a couple, and he goes to those kids' lives and just sees what's up. And then he starts becoming a guardian angel to some of them, and it's him just turning his whole life around. And the movie's actually pretty good. I mean, it's not great, but I, it was kind of touching in some parts. Like I said, Vince Vaughn plays Vince Vaughn. Colby Smulders is actually pretty good in the movie. Like I said, she's basically the only reason I went to go see this movie. But she's a good actress, what can I say? And she's Robin Sparkles, so I mean, that, that's gotta count for something, right? A lot of the kids' scenes in this movie were actually really good. There was a couple that I don't remember at all. There's one girl in particular, though. She's like a recovering addict. And her relationship with Vince Vaughn, that was actually really touching. I liked it. Now, there's one kid in this movie named Vigo. I did not like this kid. It's just this creepy kid who's, like, stalking Vince Vaughn almost. He wants to hang out with him and everything. He goes up to Vince Vaughn, and he's basically like, Hey, hang out with me, or I'm gonna expose you. And he's so creepy, because even when Vince Vaughn is trying to hang out with him, he's just not really giving him anything to work with. But then once he gets off the screen, it's fine again, you can enjoy all the other kids. Chris Pratt plays Vince Vaughn's friend in the movie. He's a lawyer, he's struggling with all his kids, and it's kind of funny watching him talk to Vince Vaughn because he actually knows what it's like to have kids. And he's a nice addition to this movie. I mean, a couple of the scenes, Vince Vaughn does some stuff that's not completely logical to him. So he uses his lawyer smarts and he's trying to, you know, get him out of those kind of situations. Now Vince Vaughn's character also in this movie, he has this thing going on with the Mafia. I don't remember everything about it, something about how he was growing pot and then he needed money from the Mafia and he never paid him back, or it was something like that. But I think me forgetting that part of the plot actually just shows how forgettable and useless that part is in the movie. Like, it didn't need to be there at all. I guess it kind of shows the error of Vince Vaughn's past ways. But you didn't need that at all. You could tell he's stuck in a dead-end job with his family. You didn't need him to be stuck in the Mafia with him, like, beating up his dad to know that he's in a tough spot. I think if they cut the Mafia part out of this movie, it would have made no difference. It actually probably would have made the movie even better. Because there's absolutely no relevance. I mean, none of the kids are tangled up in the Mafia. Vince Vaughn himself is... They're only been there for a couple scenes, actually. So it was just completely pointless and useless for having them in the movie, and I don't see why it was there. Yeah, that whole thing should have been cut from the movie, but overall, I found the movie to be kind of fun. It was enjoyable, you know, it put a smile on my face. I'm certainly not going to hate on the movie. It's not a great movie, like I'm not saying go out and see this movie right now. But I think if you have nothing else to do and you see it at matinee price, it could be a good time. It'll touch your heart. I'm going to give Delivery Man a C+. It's nothing spectacular, but at the same time, it's still kind of fun. I think if you end up seeing it at matinee price, you won't be disappointed. That's what I did. So Delivery Man, have you guys seen it and what do you guys think about it? Comment down below, let me know, and thanks for watching this video. If you guys like it, you can click here to see more.